Good evening, people watching Miss 65, Lisa Boyce. Uh, basically, I am just wore out today. So this is going to be a quick video. Um, they did a battery a test on me today, and I'm just tired. So I'm going to give you a verse out of uh, Isaiah 55, 7. And it says, Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him and to our God. For he will abundantly pardon. So let me give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ shed his blood for all of our sins, past, present, and future, was buried, and rose again on the third day according to scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone, period. Not of ourselves, not of works, least any man should boast. Now I give his gospel every day. There should be no question as to how to get saved. But yet, people still have a question. And that's okay. But it's, it's not rocket science, folks. It's believing. It is grace. Something we didn't earn. Something we don't deserve. That God gave His only begotten Son. That whosoever believe in Him will not perish but have eternal life. How do you come to that? You admit you're a sinner in need of Christ. The moment you put your faith and trust in Christ and his blood for all of your sins, the moment you accept him as Savior, not only are you saved, but you are justified by the blood of Jesus. You are protected by the blood of Jesus. You are rapture ready, which is going to happen at any time, and you're sealed until the day of redemption, which means you cannot and will not lose your salvation. The Holy Spirit will indwell in you. The Holy Spirit will lead you, guide you, minister to you, encourage you. The Holy Spirit will teach you and change you if you let him. If you let him. So they did a battery of tests, and uh, I don't have the results yet, but I will let you know as soon as I get them. So, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm very tired today. I want to talk about this Biden thing. Now, if you want a perfect time for Israel to be by herself and for the U.S. to withdraw from Israel, this would be the perfect time. Because if he gets out, guess what? The United States won't help Israel at all. So, Biden told Netanyahu today, now this is off the Times of Israel. He told Netanyahu today that if Israel retaliated for uh, Iran missile strike, we're out. Mm -hmm. So U.S. resident Sleepy refused to support a significant Israeli response to Iran's massive missile and drone attack in April, telling Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu at the time, if you launch a big attack on Iran, you're on your own. According to Tuesday report, take the wind, Biden told him. The New York Times reported warning him not to escalate the situation after an international response coordinated by the U.S. shot down 99% of some 300 projectiles launched at Israel from Iranian territory. So the attack came in response to the uh, assassination of several Iranian generals, including its top commander in Syria, in a Damascus airstrike several weeks ago. But Biden has told him, you do this, you're, you're on your own. So the White House acknowledged uh, yesterday uh, that Biden did not have a great night <laughs> at the debate. Well, we're going to get into that in a second. So at a fundraiser Tuesday, he blamed his uh, performance on jet lag and every other excuse known to man. So. But anyway, he has rejected calls, the U.S. president has rejected calls from his own party to end his campaign. Okay? Now, now that he told Netanyahu that, let's get into what RT is saying. Now, this is going, this has been going, I, I've been watching this, even at the hospital. 
I've been watching this go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth all day long. Now, RT has picked this up today. RT picked this up. So Joe Biden is seriously considering whether he can recover from his, uh, you know, that performance. He struggled through last week's exchange and now he may drop out. Now, he's going back and forth telling people he ain't doing nuts, nothing like that. He is not going to end this. He's going to keep going. I'm hearing other people say, <coughs> no, he's not. I'm hearing him say, yes, I am staying the course. I am not going anywhere. Well, this came out on Hal, Hal Turner. Hal Turner. <laughs> and I don't agree with Hal on everything, but this one I agree with. Now, this goes on to say, as you can imagine, within political campaigns and our sources. Now, if anybody knows a little bit about this, it's probably him, unfortunately. And like I said, I got to go to him because he's got news. Unfortunately, that's just the way it is. Uh, I guess there's going to be an interview Friday. Friday, yeah, on ABC News. Now, they're going to see... <laughs> How Biden does with this interview. But I think it's already been done. I think it's already been done. Because he, uh, I got several articles where it says that he's calling, uh, Cam Camel President Harris now. You know, so. So, the Democrats have an awful political problem in their making. And he's right. They got him in office. They intentionally, you know, hid his deterioration, health, and everything else. They, you know, did everything they could. Now that his status, mental status, is out in the open, the donors are leaving. Let's just be real. The donors, he has no, I mean, really. With some very big donors say either, either get out or they want their money back. That's what it's coming down to. So the general public is shocked at how he has deteriorated. And they know that he can't go a second term. Okay, so the deadline for the political party to take place, the candidate on state election ballots has already expired in several states. So if the Democrats change candidates, those new candidates cannot be substituted on these state ballots, okay? If they try the 25th Amendment Biden, uh, to get him out, this is where the GOP has a little bit of control. The GOP controlled House can and likely will refuse to hold him as quote unquote disabled. Meaning Harris, listen very carefully to this because this is absolutely right. Harris cannot assume the presidency or what the GOP can do too. The GOP House can say, we will hold him, quote unquote, disabled as long as Harris quits before being sworn in. This is a mess. And it's a bad time because don't think Russia don't see this. Don't think China don't see this. Don't think North Korea is not watching this. And don't think Iran isn't watching this. Because this is going to give them a chance to go in and start a war right now. He's going to get out. One way or another. So it goes on to say here, then in the absence of both president and vice president, speaker of the house, guess who? Mike Johnson. Takes place. He gets to be it. And of course, only Harris is legally allowed to keep, guess what? All the money. All those donations. Oh, this is bad. This is bad on every level. And you're wondering, well, what does that have to do with end times? It has everything to do with end times. Because the man put his mouth on Israel. And this is what happens. Now, he inadvertently told, <laughs> told Netanyahu 
You touch Iran, we're done. You touch Iran, we're done. Well, guess what? Now, there is... Netanyahu is supposed to be here on the 24th. Now, if this thing happens to be that they get him out, that they get Biden out (coughs) before then, (coughs) well, that just goes out the door. That 24th, uh, July 24th meeting that Netanyahu is supposed to be coming to. This is a bad time because you got a nuclear... We're on the very brink of a nuclear annihilation. And the U.S. can't even get a president in order. Again, you think that Russia don't see this and the other nations don't see this? Please. They see it and they're taking note. So this is going to be interesting how this thing goes. Now... The 25th Amendment has already been filed. It's been filed. And it's been filed by, if you go on congress.gov, it's it's there. It's there. But if you look at something very interesting on that, if you look at the date, it doesn't have a date. It has a year, 23 to 24. That tells me this has been in the making for a while. Why not just say the year 2024? So that tells me this has been brewing for quite a while now. Now you got all these wars brewing. You got uh, you got China that's about to take over Taiwan. You got um, and if you think they're going to wait until the end of the year, please. No. You got Russia that already has ships off the coast of Cuba right now. They're just waiting for this. They're just waiting to see what's going to happen here. Because if this is the case... This nation is going to be literally leaderous. I mean, leader without a leader. Well, you didn't have one in the first place, but I'm just saying. In office. And this will be the perfect time for them to make a move. Whatever they're going to do. So... I just wanted to come on and give you that little bit of information. I'll link everything in the description box that I talked about. Um, uh, if anything else comes up, I will be back on tomorrow because, like I said, right now I'm just I'm very tired. They took a that took a toll on me today. So yeah, um, I don't know what the test results will be, but I will find out Friday. Either way it go, I am content. I am quite content either way. I know where I stand with Christ. I know who I am with Christ, and I am fine. There. I just want to know. So, I will be back later. Thank you.